Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kevin. Today I have a really cool product review. Now, this company sent this to me about three, maybe four weeks ago, and I've been using it on and off and testing it. It is really nice, and I would actually move this to the top of the camping gear list, must-haves, over a refrigerator. I was huge on the refrigerators, I have a few of them, and I've never owned a portable power station like this before, or a po portable power bank. So, this is a Max Oak brand, it is a model AC50. It is 500 watt hours or 45 amp hours. Now you can use this thing anywhere. It's totally portable. You can actually even charge this off your solar panel. I have a 170 watt solar panel on the roof of my truck and I can actually plug this right into the back of this power bank and it takes about a six hours time charge to charge this from dead all the way to max power. So when you open up the box on the left, you're gonna get a nice little carrying bag. In the middle, obviously, you're going to have the actual power bank. And on the right, you're going to have a box of all the different cables and wires. Now looking at the front of the battery bank, you're going to have the master switch, the power button, for on and off. And like I said, we used this camping last night, actually, from about 8 o'clock at night to about 7.30, 7.45 in the morning. And I am still on 80% battery level. Now we powered uh, multiple cell phones. We powered a box fan with a 50 foot extension cord and I powered a second fan with this all night long. So it's pretty efficient. So below the main power button, you have a DC button. If you turn that on, that gives you access to these four USB ports right here. Also a micro USB port right here. And over here, you also have two DC out right here to power other things. And most importantly, you got a 12 volt socket right here. And you can use all of them at the same time. Below the DC button, there's an AC button. So once you turn that on, that gives you access to these two ports right here. On the top of the unit right here, you have two carrying handles, and you also have a wireless charging station right here. On either end of the power station, you might think these are speakers. I certainly did when I first opened up the box. It is actually a cooling fan on each side of the unit. So here's the back of the unit. It has a really nice light. Here's high. Here's low. So this right here is the input. This is how you're gonna charge the unit. You can either charge it by 110 uh, outlet, a 12 volt socket, or via solar panel. So here's the box of wires. On the left side here, you're gonna have the main box, the power supply. <clears throat> this is gonna plug into the back of the unit, right here. And then there's a plug on the other side of this box. So you can either charge it off of your car when you're driving to the campsite or whatever event or maybe you want to charge it um, before a, a pending hurricane or tropical storm or some kind of bad weather comes you can charge it from your car this is how you're gonna charge it from an outlet these all have the same end on them and they're just gonna go to the back of this box and then last but not least these are the wires. These right here clip to the positive and negative on your solar panel output. And this other end right here is going to go directly to the back of the power box. So this is basically just an overview and an unboxing. Like I said, I have used this before and this is now my most favorite camping gadget. Um, it's just so versatile. So even if you're not camping, say you just have uh, really bad thunderstorms or maybe you you live in a typical neighborhood where if you just get a, a lot of water, just the power gets knocked out for whatever reason. So it's really nice to have that. Um, but for camping, it's really nice to just bring out, set on the camping picnic table. And like I said, it's got five USB ports. So everybody that's there can charge their GoPros, they can charge their phones, they can charge cameras, and just, just about any kind of gadget. And that'll last the whole camping trip, you know, weekend, uh, I would say. Now, that's one thing I haven't tested and I'm really curious to know as well. So stand by for other camping videos. The main thing we're gonna do is we wanna see how long one of these refrigerators will last off this power bank right here. I'm gonna venture out and say two entire days um, we'll, we'll use this up. So uh, probably, probably in a week, maybe a week and a half, we're gonna post a video solely just running the refrigerator off one of these. Other than that, we're gonna run some other tests to, leave lights on and power LEDs or see how many things we can run at one time, stuff like that. Like I said, we ran two fans. One was even off of a 50 foot extension cord and this thing didn't even miss a lick. And like I said, we'll turn it back on. Um, we are at 80%. So we only used 20% of the battery 
in a matter of 12 hours with fans, charging devices, and LED lights. So that's pretty impressive. Like I said, it's only 45 amp hours, which is more than enough for the average person. Uh, the batteries that we used to run in our trailers and in the trucks were 100 amp hours, and we could get three to four days out of those. So if you're just doing a weekend camping trip or maybe, like I said, uh, a freak storm or something like that, um, this will definitely get you enough uh, power to get through that situation. If you guys are interested in owning your own power station or battery bank like this, this one retails for just below $400 and in the description of the video there will be a link and there will probably be like a little code or something in there to get some money off. But just to give you a heads up, I researched some of the other brands and the Goal Zero version of this, the same amount of power and everything, is double that. It's just under $1,000. I want to say it's $800 something. So. Um, if, uh, if Goal Zero is not your budget and you want the same bang for your buck, um, one of these, they have really good reviews everywhere I looked, even on Amazon. So stay tuned, check out the link in the description, and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you.